Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. You probably don't know me. I'm one of the Muslim person, a terrorist to a non-believers or a other religious person. You don't have to know me, just I'm a normal Muslim who have some thoughts as uh, any other people have. I like to talk about the tragic event happened, an incident which will remind us every single day for the rest of our life especially to the people who lives in France or any other non-Muslim countries. Recently what happened in French, probably we all know about Samuel Pate, who were stabbed to death. I'm just gonna share my feelings, my thoughts, that it could be different if we see things differently. What happened in French that is horrible, I do not support it. As a Muslim, I condemn. What happened, we cannot say it was good, but we can actually see the beginning of that incident. Why did it happen? It could happen to a other religious person or to a strongly believing person who like a person in personal life. We all have some admirer who we admire so much that we can give our life for them or for her or for him. Some people, they like a celebrity or a person that they admire so much. If a person tries to hurt that person, we probably will uh, take a high risk to protect that person. The same thing happened to that incident in French. As you all know the story, I'm not going to go that way. The point I made that video, just to share my thoughts, you can judge me after you watch that video. My point was, why a student goes to a horrific decision that he knows he will end up either dead or in jail. As we all know, we Muslim, to our non-believers, we are terrorists, we are illiterate people who have no knowledge about civilization. But most people who made those comments, such comments come from an illiterate person. Why? If you go back to history, you will see what Islam had or have. Okay, now for this moment, Western countries or non-believer, which you guys call secularism or um, atheism, this is also a religion. Religion means you believe in something. Now, if you don't believe there is a God, it is also a belief. As Scientology, they believe in science. It is a belief and religion means, in other way, believing something. So, most countries now hold power. They are atheist or secularist country and they are trying to push that boundary beyond their society and put in all other society which has believing in some other culture or other religion some of the religious people they go along with that some like muslims we don't agree with this so this is creating a hazard to the secularist or atheist community or other religious believers because we don't follow as they follow. It is our choice. We do not like to do extreme things. It is our problem. You don't have to worry about us. Just see yourself. So the point I was trying to make that why whole Muslim world is going against Mr. Emmanuel Macron. I totally agree with Macron if he's condemning the killing of a teacher. I totally agree. If he's trying to bring justice to his community, I totally agree. But when he talk about some 1.2 billion people are in wrong path, this is not normal thing. How come he knows 1.2 billion people are in crisis or they are going in wrong path? How much does he knows about Islam? I can say surely not even 1%. Because if you want to know someone, you have to go into them or study about them. What happening in Western society, we just watch TVs, few minutes of video clips, and we judge the people, whole community, as one or a 30 seconds video. If you see most of the convert in whole world, they are not some illiterate person or a sheep herder or a, a sweeper or a janitor. Most of them holds degrees and the highest degrees. If you search on internet, you will find most convert 
they are highly educated people. How come a highly educated atheist or Christian or Buddhist person convert Islam? Because they give their time, they dedicate their time to study about the Islam, which is most horrific religion in this time. And as I said, we judge whole community through a 30 seconds or one minute video from some, um, I'm not gonna say the name, but most Western medias are just showing off or um, trying to make some money because now in this time people like discriminating other person. This is what happening. That is why most TV channels, they are doing their job just to provoke other people and lead them to destruction. But on the other hand, they are making money. If you see so many TV medias, they have no idea what they're talking about. So many TV media, they made stories from their office, a three, three by three square meter office, and they destroy whole community. A single Chinese person did a mistake. They judge whole China. A single Muslim person did something bad. They judge whole Muslim community. 1.2 billion people are the same. Is it possible? So Mr. Macron, when he go against Islam, I do not agree. But when he says he's against terrorists, then he have to be right. And I totally support. A person should not be killed because of insulting or criticizing some person but when everyone knows we muslim love our prophet then why do you have to itchy our ass and lead us to fight why everyone knows and some of the people they just want to be the tv face so they have to find some way to do some nasty thing that all media go after them and then it led to a destruction or a big horrifying conclusion what happened to Samuel Pache? I do not agree that he should be killed. But why French or other Western society or other Western government does not made a law that if you have freedom of speech, okay, do not hurt somebody's feelings. If a homosexual person, he's homo, I totally accept him as a homosexual person. He have feelings for other men. It's his problem. If a woman like other women, it's her problem. If a man like woman, it's his problem. But why do I have to insult him over and over again when I know it is not okay? Even in Western media or Western society, we all say we like homos. But in reality, nobody likes them. But we say it's his choice. So we just go with it. We ignore. Because in Western society, everyone likes to see yeah, homosexual, okay, lesbian, okay. But when their own child said, Father, I'm a homosexual person, then they're not okay. When their own daughter brings a girl with her and start kissing, making out in front of their parents, they're not okay. But when you ask them, yes, we are okay, because it's for other person. When somebody else's son is getting killed, it's okay. But when my son is getting killed, then it's not okay. So we are lying. In Western society, you know yourself, you're lying. You can lie to me on my face, but you cannot look at yourself to the mirror and say, yes, I'm okay with it. No, you are not. So the same thing is when you're hurting someone's feeling, it does not look or feels right. And when it's happening every single day, people have to say enough is enough. If you all see back to history, every every great countries in the world right now have a bad history but when you ignore your past you will face consequence which is gonna be very very bad look at america the black people were treated so badly they had to say enough is enough and now what happened it led to a destructive situation in america we all know i will try my best to share some videos which is not cover up by western medias because they, they want to hide the real truth so i will try my best to share some videos on the description box that you can see why am i saying do not hurt somebody's feeling by the name of freedom of speech do not choose to kill somebody when you say freedom of choice no i have freedom of choice if it's good for me i do not have freedom of choice i want to kill somebody or destroy something which is not 
my business or which is not good for mankind. Mr. Emmanuel Macron, if he condemned the killing, I totally agree. If he said that particular person is bad person, I totally agree. There is millions of Muslims who is just a way, a bad way, a rubbish of society. I totally agree. But you cannot ignore there is also millions of other religious person who is a rubbish to the society. And you all know, if you go to America or Europe or Asia, every country has its bad and good side. Every religious person has bad and good side. If you see the Christian or Buddhist, what is happening in private life of monks and priests, we all know. But do we Muslims say anything? No. Why? What happened? Why happened? Or if it happens to one particular person, we cannot bring and torture whole community. It is not right. And if you my point to you to show you or to tell you that if you want to judge a book please read it if you have so much problem so much hate to islam just read the book F try to gain some knowledge about islam before you hate it as western people says if you want to know somebody you have to go into that community if you do not know about muslim people if you never read quran or the life of our prophet which we love which you hate you never read the life of prophet muhammad peace be upon him or how the islam actually works how do you judge how dare you to judge a person or a community or religion when you have zero knowledge i'm sure about macron or other Islamophobic leaders who holds powers and then they think I am the God. No, Hitler was a great leader, but what happened? He ended up dead. Why? When you do bad things, dictatorship lasts for probably 10 years or 20, but you cannot live forever. No human being has control on power forever. All the powerful leaders, when they take their position, they know, yes, now I have the power. I have everything in my fingertip. Just I make like that and it happens. It does not happen. You can suppress people, but for how long? What happened to America? It is soon going to start in whole world. How the Western societies or what is happening in Muslim minority countries. It is soon pushing us to a destruction. And we all going to end up killing each other what happening to america with black people among black people and white people it is soon going to start among muslim and other religious people why because most muslim they think patient is the main key but by keeping patience muslim people they are proving themselves as a coward but we are not coward we just do not want to have a quarrel we live in wherever we live we are just trying to live side by side with other people, other religious or other disabled or whatever you say. If you see most Muslim majority country, if they start to behave like most other religious or uh, most other Muslim minority countries, if the Muslim majority countries start to treat their minorities same way, what it's gonna be? It is gonna start a war and it is going to destroy everyone. Nobody's gonna have any profit about it. Nobody takes profit from a war. So if you forget Macron or uh, whoever, whoever, even a Saudi king says something that Islam is this or that, you don't have to believe any human. Just do your homework. Do some investigation about, about Islam. If you find out bad, then you can judge the Muslim people are bad or good. Do not just follow up with some reporter or journalist what they show. They are doing it just to get some cover, to be famous, to make money. You and me, we have to decide what we have to do. Because if things turn back, you have to know. When a person hit the wall, he will say enough is enough. How the black people life matters start and now 
it just ending with a bad destruction it will happen same among muslim and other religious people because if muslim majority country for example iran pakistan or brunei malaysia bangladesh such countries who has 10 15 percent minorities or less or more minorities in other religion if they start to treat the same way then it will end up in a war who's gonna who's gonna win nobody nobody so do not follow up with those political leaders who's just trying to use somebody's weakness to attack them you do your own homework do some research if you find islam is bad then you can hate but without knowing the person how can you judge a person he or she is bad or good to mr macron sir you can do better than this you have the charm james bond type killing the bad persons killing the bad guys saving the world not creating a war kind of person you are you don't look that way so use your smartness your handsomeness to do something better you deserve better than this you deserve honor not disgrace from a person from the street throws shoes at you throws eggs at you you can do better than this